Welcome to Empower Me Podcast, empowering talented individuals since 2020. Empower Me is designed with you in mind, your goals, your challenges, your opportunities to grow and to prosper, all for you. We bring the topics in discussion, and you bring the desire and commitment to succeed. Now, on to the show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Empower Me podcast. My name is Red Sharples and uh, I'd like to spend a few minutes with you today really reflecting back on a conversation I had a few weeks ago with one of our participants in the Empower Me program. And the conversation was brief, but it really got me to thinking. And the conversation really was around kind of structuring time in our personal lives in order to invest in ourselves and not realizing really the conflict of priorities in how you kind of can, you know, develop the self-discipline to hold your priorities where they need to be. Uh, And so I thought I'd talk about that a little bit today because it starts off where it's really easy to say is, hey, if you want to get the most out of this program and you know you have to work on it in your spare time, you you need to make it a priority. And, and, uh, And I think it's easier said than done. And what really comes to play is, how are we with the self-discipline required? The discipline required to say, this is my time. This is the time that I need to internalize, to read, to consider, to ponder, to journal. Um, and so uh, I thought maybe I would kind of go over some of the parameters of self-discipline, allow you to kind of chew on it and decide, you know, yeah, I think this, this relates to me. And then, you know, if you like it, get back to us on the Slack channel. So let's just start off with the word self-discipline. Uh, Webster says it's the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses or the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. It's important to note that the possession of self-discipline enables you to choose and then persevere with actions, thoughts, and behavior, which then leads to improvement and success. Right? So think about that enables you to choose. It sounds very similar to the name of our program of Empower Me. It gives you the power and inner strength to overcome distractions, procrastination, and laziness. Uh, And I know that's a tough word, right? But I'm victim of that oftentimes, laziness. And I need to follow through on whatever it is that I do. So quickly, let's just answer the question, well, how do you build it? How do you build self-discipline? I'm gonna give you eight tips Uh, So, you know, if you're taking notes, find the pause button. Here we go. First, it's important to know where you struggle. Take a real good hard look at that. What gets in the way? What are those distractions? What is it that you really are paying attention to? Know where you struggle. Know how you succeed. Find an area in your life where that self-discipline shines through and look at it from a framework perspective. Know how you succeed. Identify and write down clear goals. So what a coincidence we talked about identifying with your goals. Step number three, identify and write down clear goals. Number four, visualize your outcome. It's so hard to kind of develop self-discipline and set a goal if you don't know where you're going or what you want as a result of it. So go ahead and visualize that. Five, don't wait for it to feel right. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a hard commitment. Don't wait. Start small. All right? Don't try to do all the playbook in one sitting. Start small. Read a few questions. Get a mentor. I can't stress that enough. Have somebody that knows you, that you can be vulnerable with, and that will give you the kind of questions and support that you need. And then here's my final one. This one is it. This is the big one. Ready? Number eight. Practice. Fail. Start over. Just that simple. Practice, fail, start over. I really appreciate spending this time with you guys. We want to try to keep them quick, hopefully impactful. But most of all, we want to give you something to grow from. I'm going to leave it right here. I love you guys. I can't wait to talk soon. Thank you for being a part of our Empower Me experience. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast from the Empower Me team. If so, please like and provide comments with any feedback you'd like to share regarding your take on the subject. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Oaktown Empower Me channel today. Thanks for joining us and check back in the future for discussions regarding your growth and development.